main reason why I chose Cranfield was because, so I visited the university when I was quite young. I did a Nuffield, a Nuffield research placement and I really liked like the facilities and this was when I was like 14 years old. When I did my research on the course as well, uh, there was a lot of focus on sustainability and power and the environment, which is something that I wanted to pursue in my masters. And it's what made me go towards an MSc as opposed to an MEng. I think my course mates, there's only 20 of us and in my undergraduate there was about 150. So everyone had their own little clique and their own niche and friendship groups. But in this course, because there's so few of us, we kind of all just stuck together. So it's literally no man left behind, <laughs> no matter who struggles on what coursework or whatever, everyone just helps each other. So it's kind of like a family, which I really enjoyed, even though I'm not on campus, it felt like I was. I've actually loved it. It saved me a lot of petrol. <laughs> I don't have to drive every morning. Um, I found it quite good because the way my modules ran was we had one week of lectures and then one week of writing a report. So for me, it was super convenient. Um, the fact that I was at home, I had my own desk space and I could seamlessly go into week one, in, from week one to week two without having to think about travel. And also, they kept it as interactive as possible. So none of the um, all the lectures were live, so they weren't just pre-recorded. And we had quite a lot of interaction, quite a lot of group tasks as well, where we had to go out of our way to meet up and do our own little Zoom calls and stuff. So I still felt like I was on campus, even though I wasn't. <laughs> So my group project was quite exciting purely because it was such a brand new topic. Um, it was based on nuclear power for clean fuels. Um, so how we can use a nuclear reactor um, to produce hydrogen, which would then be used to produce methanol. So kind of like a three stage synthesis. Um, it was super exciting for me because I have a lot of interest in, in the nuclear industry. Um, I did a bit of work experience during my undergrad um, working in the nuclear sector as well. So getting the opportunity to explore that at my own will was quite interesting. I had a session with my supervisor yesterday and it's going to be based on geothermal power that is the foundation however I wanted to challenge myself and go beyond this so I'm from East Africa originally my parents are from Kenya um, so I decided to actually base my thesis in Kenya so geothermal power within East Africa. So it's situated on the Rift Valley and there's a lot of capacity for renewable energy on the Rift Valley, especially geothermal power, but they just haven't harnessed it yet. So I wanted to explore um, how third world countries take on net zero in terms of policy, legislation, and also the process design of it, because it's completely different to planning something in Europe as opposed to back in Africa, which is home for me. <laughs> explore all your interests while you have the opportunity to. Um, in my, when I finished my undergraduate, I felt like I missed out on a lot because we kind of stuck to syllabus and there wasn't that much flexibility, which is why I did choose Cranfield because I thought I could be able to explore other areas that people might not consider chemical engineering, but actually it's quite a broad field as well. So during those three, four, five years you're at university, definitely think about what it is that you like doing, not what it is that you have to do and find a way to to include that in your work as well. Um, I have a graduate scheme uh, in Rolls-Royce nuclear submarines, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> um, they just cleared me for security the other day. As you can imagine, it was a very long process. Um, but I'm moving to Derby. Uh, I did a year-long internship with them and a summer placement with them, so they kind of just called me and told me to come back. I said, yeah, sure. <laughs> Challenging, exciting and innovative, yeah really innovative.